Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use Excel's Power Query and use a fuzzy lookup when you're identifying text that is similar but not identical. So take a look at my data set here. I have over here in one data set, I have employee names and I'm being asked to answer the question of whether or not they have access to a particular software. This is the list of employees that I need to evaluate and see if they have access to that software or not. Now, over here in column D, I have the list of the employees who do have access to that software. What I want to do is I want to create a function using fuzzy lookup, which will do this for me so that I don't have to manually look at each employee on this list and determine if they have access or not. So in order to do this, I'll be opening up Excel's Power Query and using the fuzzy tool. So the very first step I'm going to do is I'm going to convert both ranges into tables, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and just go Control T and my table has headers. Yes, it does, employee name and access to software. So, okay. And then I'll go into my second data set, Control T, okay. Now, one thing I'll clarify before I continue is column C, as you can see, is left empty and there's a space between these two tables. And the reason there's this space is because if there was no space, these would both be one table and we don't want them to be one table. We want them to be two separate tables. So that's why I'm giving some space, some distance between the two tables. Now, another thing to notice here is, notice this data set here and this one here. Alexander Lavoie over here is named Alex Lavoie here. They're the same person, but they have a different name, they have a nickname that's being used in this list. Or consider, for example, Benjamin Simpson over here on this list is named Benji with middle name R Simpson in this list. So a V lookup here clearly wouldn't work, right? So that's why we're going to be using the fuzzy lookup in order to in order to handle this for us. Okay, so now that we've converted both uh, sets into a table, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the first table, anywhere on the first table, go into the data tab, and in the get and transform data um, area, I'm going to go into get data from table slash range. Okay, and I'm gonna click on it. And since I had clicked on that table, uh, Excel knows that I need to get data from that table. So it has received the data. All I'm going to do here is close and load and close and load. It's going to open up a separate uh, second spreadsheet here. And this time this table that I had clicked on earlier, it's now loaded onto Power Query and it's called table five, okay? I'm gonna go back to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna click on the second table, anywhere in the second table, and I'll do the exact same step, but this time a little bit differently, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the data tab, click on the get data from table range option, and this time I'm going to go close and load two, and I'm going to select an existing worksheet, and I'm going to put that table right beside this one here, okay? Like so. Now, we don't have to place them side by side, but just for ease of visualization, I like to do it this way, okay? So now we have table five, which is this table here, and table six, which is this table here. Now, if I wanted, I could have named these tables as well. Um, in order to name tables, you just click on a table, go into table design and name it whatever you'd like. But for purposes of this example, let's go back to the fuzzy lookup step. So now both of these tables have been loaded into Power Query, okay? So now what, I'm, what I can do is I can go back to the data tab, go into get data and go to combine queries and merge. Now, what two tables do I wanna merge? I wanna merge this table, table five, and this one, table six. And by merging, what I'm doing is I'm comparing the two tables to see from this list of names, which names are over here. Okay, so over here, table five, I want to be over here on the left side. And from this table five, which specific column do I want to compare? I wanna compare this employee name column, right? So employee name. 
And for table six, I'm going to click on this column because there's only one column and left outer is automatically selected for us. This means that it's going to take all from first and match to second. So in this case, table five is my left outer. It's my left, it's first. So it's gonna take all of these and it's gonna say from these, which ones are found over here, okay? And I'm going to select use fuzzy matching for this. And in the fuzzy matching dropdown, I'm going to select a similarity threshold. Now what this is, is this basically is a tolerance value, a tolerance level. So it indicates how similar you want two values to be in order to match. If I click one here, then that means that if I want two values to match, they have to be the exact match. So Benji Simpson will only look for Benji Simpson here. It won't take Benji R Simpson, even though we know that it's a nickname and they're the same person. It won't take it. So we don't want it to be an exact match. We want some discrepancy, some tolerance, right? Um, the default for this threshold is going to be 0.8. Um, based on my judgment, I'm going to do 0.3. Okay. And as you can see right off the bat, it gives me a preview saying the selection matches 16 out of 19 rows. What does that mean? That means out of 19 of these rows, we have matched 16, which come from here. The, the other three, we couldn't find in this table. That's what it's saying, okay? So I'll go okay, and I'll um, start making the, the fuzzy lookup table, okay? Now this screen is gonna pop up. This is table six. This is going to be my results table. I'm gonna click on these two arrows that you see over here, and I'll just click okay, that's it, okay? Now this is my fuzzy table, it's ready. Now I want to put it into my Excel file. Now where you put it, it's all up to you. But for me, I'm gonna go close and load two because I want it to be at an exact location. Again, just for visualization purposes. Existing worksheet and I want it to be right over here, okay? And I'm gonna click okay. And there we have it, okay? Over here now I have Alexander Lavoie. It matches with Alex Lavoie, right? Now again, Excel is using its Power Query function to kind of give its own judgment based on what it thinks Alexander Lavoie could be. So this isn't an exact match, yes, but it's using this judgment based on the tolerance threshold level, level that we selected to say that, hey, Alexander Lavoie, it could be this person, Alex Lavoie. Or for example, Benjamin Simpson, it could be Benji R. Simpson. Or Elizabeth Robinson, could probably be Liz Robinson, okay? So now from this list, I can go look at each one and I can say, this is, these are the employee names, these are the employees that have access, and I can go ahead and take on yes and no and complete the list that way, okay? So that's how to use the fuzzy lookup function. Um, now, as you can see, it's automatically added into your Excel. You can also download the fuzzy lookup. It's an add-in that comes and you can download it and it'll pop up into your, um, into your uh, clip bar on the top. And it's a free download on the Microsoft website. So you can try that as well, okay? But for basic fuzzy lookup needs, I mean, this, this version is fine, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed the video and stay